Page six now, the post-Iowa Democrat nominee frontrunner. Bernie or Pete? Pete or Bernie. What happened to Liz? And what about old Harry Joe? Anybody seen his campaign or his message? While the Iowa res results are still not official, going into New Hampshire, clearly the former mayor of South Bend, Pete Buttigieg, has the mo. All right, so a guy barely old enough to qualify to run for president is now leading the Democrat field with the non-Democrat Marxist socialist from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, right on his heels, or vice versa. In any case, what happened in Iowa? Not just the vote count debacle, but what happened to Joe and Liz? And for that matter, Mike. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, I think we can now confirm that there is election interference in the 2020 election cycle for sure, clearly, only it's Democrat upon Democrat election uh, interference. And I hate to be a cynic, but you know that I am. But what if this is just a reflection of what we already know goes on in, for example, California, that the Democrats really want to institutionalize electoral chaos so they can ride to the rescue with their candidate and their creative ways of winning like we saw in 2018 in California. There may be some truth to that. You've got Congresswoman Lee, who's barely able to sit in her seat and act intelligent in the Congress, claiming that the Iowa caucuses were disrupted by, get this, Russian agents. <laughs> she said that in Congress this week. The, DN the DNC is calling for a complete recount because they don't, in my opinion, want Bernie to win. How is it, Graham, that Bernie got way more votes and is slightly in second place? No one can even explain that. And poor Joe has gotten demolished. When the impeachment went on and on and his name and Hunter's name kept coming up, I guess a lot of voters in Iowa decided where there's smoke, there's fire. Something ain't kosher at the Biden house. So let's right. vote for the crazy socialists. But, but, so the moderate gets crushed. Right. And the socialists, all top three of them, are left wing, farther left wing, and falling off the planet on the left wing. All right, but back to Joe Biden, who, you know, I guess they frame as a moderate. I don't think any of these characters are moderates. But when you look at Joe Biden, I've been following him now for many, many months. If you had to ask me what his message is, I don't know what his message is. And I think that that's probably part of the problem, right? It's whatever his message is, if he has a message, is not resonating. He's not raising money. It seems as though he's going around the country saying, hey, elect me, you'll get eight more years of Barack Obama. Nobody believes that. Well, Biden has a couple of problems. The first one I just mentioned. The second one is the longer he talks on camera, the more disjointed and nonsensical his intellect becomes apparent to everyone. He really, as you said, does not have a platform except you really like Barack Obama and I was his second banana, ergo elect me. That isn't working anymore. The wildly socialist everything for free platforms of the other three candidates are now gaining momentum and outraising him by massive amounts yeah. of money. The money is pouring into Buttigieg and Sanders, not so much Elizabeth Warren anymore. And get this, just for fun, there is a Pocahontas, Iowa, not a joke. And guess who finished last there? <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> it's fitting. And all of this, by the way, is framed with Super <laughs> Tuesday just three weeks away. Super Tuesday is right around the corner. So you have that woman you mentioned that she's bitter, she's obnoxious. I think she's a Massachusetts version of Hillary Clinton. That would be Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren. The idiot light on the dashboard, I think, is on. She's got to perform and respond to that idiot light on the dashboard in New Hampshire, or, or I think it's over very quickly. Very thank you.